What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer with another quick Overwatch news update. Just recently, Blizzard has officially confirmed the release date for the new Blizzard World map, which has also been confirmed to be the same time that the new skins and other cosmetic items will be releasing as well. For those of you who don't know, these will be the new Blizzard crossover skins, which were originally teased back at BlizzCon, as well as a whole ton of brand new cosmetics that we still have yet to even see. But anyways, before I get into talking about the skins and such, it was announced via Twitter using this awesome little ticket graphic that January 23rd, which is next week, Tuesday, will be the day that Blizzard World, as well as the new skins, will be coming to the live game. That means for both PC players and console. Now, I tried kind of exploring this ticket a little bit, see if there are any maybe Easter eggs or clues hidden in it, but it doesn't look like it is. It's, it's pretty simple. The numbers on the bottom left are just simply the date that it's going to be released, so I don't think there's anything else hidden here. So anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit as well about the new skins that are going to be coming, and just sort of hope to clarify any questions that you might have pertaining to them. As I talked about in one of my previous videos, we did get confirmation from Jeff Kaplan that despite all the skins they showed off at BlizzCon being crossovers from other Blizzard games, the majority of the new content in this update won't actually be references to other games. So if you're a big Blizzard fan, this might be a bit disappointing, but for people like me who haven't really played any Blizzard games other than Overwatch, I'm actually kind of excited because this will mean some brand new ideas and stuff being put into the game. Also, all the new items will be added to the standard loot boxes, which means they won't be restricted to a certain time such as with events, meaning you can get them any time of year, whenever, and you never have to worry about them disappearing, and they will most likely just cost normal loot box items, meaning a legendary item will cost 1000 credits. And if there are any of you who have been hoarding your loot boxes and waiting to open them after this update drops and all this new content is added, I hate to break it to you, but that isn't going to work. The contents of a loot box are determined at the time you get it, not at the time you open it, so if you've been holding on to a bunch, you might as well just open them right now. However, if you're still wanting to sort of get a head start on getting some of these new items out of loot boxes, then I encourage you to not play the arcade this coming Monday, which is when the three free weekly loot boxes is reset, and instead wait until Tuesday to play the arcade, at which point the new items will have entered the game, and thus it'll be possible to get them out of the boxes you get via arcade wins. Also, according to a post Jeff made on the forums a week ago, the new nerfs for Mercy and Junkrat won't be included in this update. So regardless of whether you're excited about or dreading these upcoming changes, it seems like we're not going to be getting them for a little bit longer. Also, real quick before I wrap up this video, I just wanted to remind you all that week two of Overwatch League will be starting later today. The first match of the week will be San Francisco Shock versus Philly Fusion, which is starting at 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Based off of how well the first week of Overwatch League went, I know I'm super excited to see what happens for week two. And also, in case any of you were still wondering, I am still planning to do a potential Blizzard Universe skin crossover ideas video, which I talked about a few weeks back when I first predicted when the Blizzard World update would be happening. Of course, we already have a few confirmed crossover skins, which were the ones teased at BlizzCon, but there are a lot of other potential characters that could be coming into Overwatch in the form of cosmetic skins. I was actually planning on making that video for today, but given that we got this news about the release date, I decided to do this instead, so that video will either be coming out tomorrow or possibly this coming weekend, depending on how I work things out. So if you have any cool ideas for Blizzard crossover skins, and you haven't already left your ideas in the comments of my previous video talking about that, then be sure to drop those down below. And otherwise, that will do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out today's poll card and leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and turn on notifications to both help out my channel and keep up with all my future Overwatch news updates. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.